Hi there, my name is Tani and I do all things roller skating on here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite ways to stop on roller skates with and without toe stops. I will also have a video coming up here soon on my experience and give some tips on how to switch over to jam plugs. If that is a video that sounds helpful to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notifications. That way you'll know when I upload that. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I have a few different preferred ways to stop with the toe stop that I'll be sharing, as well as with jam plugs. And if you have been wanting to possibly switch over to jam plugs, but have been a little bit nervous, this might show you some things that you can practice before you jump all in. And you can still have toe stops on while you practice these moves, so you feel more prepared for when you do switch over. Let's go ahead and start out with the toe stops. The first move I'm going to show you is great for stabilization, especially if you are a beginner, it's important to have a way to stop rolling while standing in place. This move is either putting one toe stop down, you can also tuck your back wheels on one boot in the space between the wheels on your other boot at an angle, and this will also allow you to stand without rolling. You can also use your toe stops to walk over debris you know is not safe to roll over. This next move is a transition into a one foot toe slide to stop. This is a great stop to use when you have to stop quickly and are going fast. It can be a double toe slide stop if you are going down a hill and desperately need to stop too. With this stop, you wanna be comfortable with transitions and it works using either foot. The foot that I'm using to slide and stop with is not the foot that I have my main balance on, once I have the foot I'm going to use to stop positioned, I then push down at an angle into the ground and it just slides until we both stop moving. It's a great idea to practice transitions going in both directions and once you're comfortable with that, you can add on the stop. Here is an overview. I don't know how helpful this will be, but sometimes different perspectives can help. Now that we've gotten the toe stops out of the way, let's check out some ways that we can slow down momentum when we have jam plugs in. The whole idea of stopping on roller skates is all about stopping your wheels from rolling. So when you are doing moves that are not requiring you to skate around, then simply stepping with a little conviction and at an angle can be enough. Even with being on a slight hill here, stepping to the side stops me. And I'm not a fan of T-stops because I am not going to drag my wheels like that but the stance of a T-stop does help too. When I do get some speed going, I will stop by forming a lazy V and turn in a half circle. What slows me down to a stop when doing this is by putting pressure and weight to the outside of my feet and pushing with bent knees. This makes it so I am pushing in a different direction than my wheels are rolling. Here you can see that foot to the left turns outward to make that lazy V. And then there is the plow stop, which is just basically a bubble, but instead of continuing the movement, I push my weight to the outside of my feet, like when I do the half circle, so that I come to a stop. This works both forwards and backwards. Alright everyone, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And any video ideas, I would love to help any way I can, and I will see you again really soon. Bye bye.